Hello again everyone, it's been a hot minute since the last video and since then I've begun to notice some other videos that people really seem to like. These videos are able to achieve what most Worth Hunter players are unable to, reading the dev blog. For many people out there, getting to the dev blog page can be quite the challenge. So I've devised a foolproof tutorial for all the Worth Hunter players out there who really need it. Step 1. Open up the search engine that you use on whatever device you have. Type in google.com and press search. Step 2. In the google.com search bar, type in War Thunder Dev Blog and press search. A pro tip for PC users, you can press the enter key instead of the search buttons. Step 3. Click on the first link available. Step 4. Scroll through the dev blog to learn about all the new stuff Gaijin is adding to War Thunder. There you have it. Now when a new update drops, you can find all of the information right there. But I know some of you out there are still looking for that high quality War Thunder content creator video. And I can provide you with such an experience, if you're willing to hear me out. Here is my unpopular opinion on the new Sturm Tiger coming to War Thunder. News, 38 centimeter Sturm Mersen Sturm Tiger SPG. 28 October 2022 Development The legendary self-propelled assault gun with high caliber rockets was designed to destroy whole buildings during urban fights. The Sturm Tiger comes to War Thunder. 38cm Sturmrasen SPG Germany Rank 4 Premium Features 380mm HE rockets Long reload time Good protection the project for a self-propelled 380 millimeter what the fuck the project for a self-propelled 380 millimeter self-propelled rocket mortar on the Tiger tank chassis was presented at a German armaments meeting in August 1943 followed by a building of mock-up prototypes to present to Adolf Hitler the mass production of the vehicle started in August 1944. The first prototype of the Sturm Tiger took its baptism of fire in the suppression of the Warsaw Uprising. Later, this vehicle was captured by the Red Army and is currently on display in Kubinka Museum near Moscow. Kubinka? 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 Serial. Serial vehicles fought on the Western Front, including battles in the Ardennes. One of the serial Sturm Tigers is on display at the German Panzer Museum in Munster. The 38cm Sturmresen self-propelled gun, better known as the Sturm Tiger, will be the main prize in a special event dedicated to the 10th anniversary of War Thunder. This self-propelled mortar on the chassis of a Tiger tank was designed to destroy buildings and fortifications using devastating 380mm rockets. What Sturm Tiger is capable of in War Thunder? Let us see. The Sturm Tiger stands out by an absurdly short gun for an absurdly large caliber. In fact, the 380mm rocket mortar was developed for the German Navy, but it turned out that on the ground the amazing destructive power of this weapon could be used too. The mortar fires self-propelled projectiles, in fact, rockets, that gain speed not only due to pressure and bore rifling, but due to their own jet propulsion? In War Thunder, the Sturm Tiger will have only one type of round, a huge high explosive rocket which, scoring a direct hit, will almost certainly destroy any target. However, it will take a lot of practice to hit your targets, due to the uneasy ballistics of the giant rockets. The rangefinder is of good use here. In addition, the massive rocket launcher is unable to elevate the gun efficiently, 0 degrees to 65 degrees, and horizontal traverse angles are poor. 3 degrees each way. This means that you will have to mainly turn the hull to acquire your targets. Download wallpaper 1920 by 1080, 2560 by 1440, 3840 by 2160. The Sturm Tiger is built on the chassis of the Tiger Ausf E and, due to increased weight, is somewhat less mobile. <laughs> The armor of the turret's front is made of 150mm armored steel sheet at an angle of 45 degrees and is able to withstand or ricochet most kinetic rounds at its rank. Self-propelled guns ammunition is 14 rockets, one in the barrel, one on the feeder, 
and 6 on the left and right sides of the fighting compartment. The reload time of the actual Sturm Tiger took several minutes, which is nonsense in the game. Bruh. The reload time of the Sturm Tiger in War Thunder will be the longest in the game. Uh, 40 seconds with an aced crew, Bruh. but sufficient for an active gameplay. Taking into account the very long reload time and the deadly power of 380 millimeter rockets, the ammunition load will almost always last until the end of the battle. The Sturm Tiger was created for urban battles, but can also be effective in hills and woods. But you'd better. T what the fuck? But you'd better to avoid hits in the lower front plane. <laughs> what is that English? Which is only 100 millimeter at blunt angle. Also, remember that the rocket in the barrel could detonate when hit. Bruh. The legendary Sturm Tiger is a wonderful prize for the anniversary of a wonderful game! Exclamation point. Stay tuned for the full list of special events dedicated to the 10th anniversary of War Thunder, and don't miss the chance to get a unique SPG in your collection. Anyway guys, I know that's kind of a hot take for you to accept, but um, yeah, I'll have a real video out soon.